Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 12 rounds and will be for the British Middleweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and Unibet. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, Board Representative Robert W. Smith, Timekeeper Brett Bowles. Our three judges assigned, all from England, will be Bob Williams, Ian John Lewis, and Terry O'Connor. When the bell rings, our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Marcus McDonald of England. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. Live from the BT Sports Studio in London, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing black with gold and weighed in at 11 stone, five pounds. Coming to us from Birmingham, England, he brings a professional record consisting of 24 wins, four defeats, one draw, with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the mandatory challenger, Andrew DeAnimal Robinson. And his opponent across the ring in this main event, he is the defending champion fighting tonight out of the blue corner, and he comes to the ring wearing red with black. His weight, 11 stone, six pounds. Hailing from Clodoc Vale, Wales, he has a professional record of 22 wins, two defeats, one draw, with 17 of his 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the number one ranked contender in the world by the WBO, and tonight, the reigning and defending British middleweight champion, Liam the Machine Williams. Both of the dress really not expect at our professors at all times and play on shots and watches. Any questions? Let's go to work. Oh, eyeball to eyeball. Neither was blinking. Andrew Robinson, the taller man at six foot against five foot ten for Liam Williams. But he can be a slow starter. He doesn't want to be a slow starter in this, Richie. He needs to be on his metal from work go. Yes, he does. And we know that uh, Williams very fast jab. Very good mover, Liam Williams. Quick hand straight away, that was a nice combination. Little sneak right hand, found the target. And we've only been going 20 seconds. He was odds on when I checked earlier on to win inside the first three rounds. Common opponent between the two, Mark Heffron. Liam Williams beat Heffron. Andrew Robinson was stopped by Mark Heffron. And we had a word with Mark and he said he reckons that Liam might possibly want to just have a round or two. Didn't suggest that in the interview with Joe Ankier, did it? But just maybe just want a round or two. And there's a cut, there's a cut on the head, the clash of heads, and he dabbed uncomfortably at his hairline. And there is definitely a cut there, and you can see there is blood oozing down the left-hand side of his face. They'll go to work on that if we get to the close to the bell. And he's really going looking for Robinson, and he's put him down. It was a right hand. No, left up to the body, John, actually. Good left up to the body. Right hand went in. Right hand over the top first. Yes, but the left up to the body did the damage. It really did look... Oh, he's not... Oh, he stopped it. He stopped it in the first round. And he can't believe it. Andrew Robinson can't believe it. Well, what do you make of that? Well, I don't know whether he, he, he knew what, what, what the count was or what. Yeah, very, very confusing. He'd been counted out. I think that there was the head clash, and obviously um, um, Liam Williams, he felt the cut, he felt the blood, and it, it, it just ignited him into 
all out aggression didn't it and Williams put some quality shots together very fast hands indeed the right hands went in left hooks to the body also and yeah he felt the blood he was angry about it was Williams with that head, that head clash and it just like I say he just just sparked him into into real life and action didn't it and he just kept going just as I was saying he might want a few rounds under his belt well, yeah, well you know you upset this guy and look at that that's a nasty nasty gash over the left eye and a couple of words between them not particularly friendly words, I suspect. Let's look again. Have a look at the head clash here. Well, that's six and one and a half a dozen of the other, isn't it? So Williams has come forward. They've clashed heads there. And I think he, yeah, he's saying that he's... Look, so Andrew Robinson was cut on the eye there from that from that head clash. And badly. Yeah, that's a bad cut, that is. And that's from the head that, that obviously, Liam Williams... It was unintentional, but he came forward. And then, let's have a look at this. So there's the right hand there. Now what's his left hook to the body, John, here, coming up? That's the one, look, and that's what puts him down. So terrific left hook to the body. But it's definitely due to those head clashes. But, but Robinson comes off worse with the clash, uh, with the cut above his eye. But we know that there was blood coming from Williams as well. So the blood must have been a, a clash, a cut on the head of Williams. But just gets him in the corner here. There's a right hand there, and then the left hook downstairs, and that's the one that probably did the damage, John. Now there was a confusion with the count. He was he listening to the referee? I don't know. But the referee just counts him out. I tell you what, Rich, and I mean this nicely, there is a nastiness about Liam Williams, which is impressive. Yes, I would agree with you. And there is a nastiness about him, most certainly, and we've just seen it there. And he has produced a spectacular quick win. Well, you've seen it, and here is the verbal confirmation. Here's Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 28 seconds of round number one. Our referee, Marcus McDonald, reaches the count of 10. Therefore, your winner by way of count out, and still British middleweight champion, Liam the 